with regards to my esteemed viewers, I would like to discuss on the topic called Geographical Information System, that is this. This topic is based on one of my right of during my postgraduate diploma in agricultural extension management at the National Institute of Agricultural Extension and Management called MENAS at Hyderabad. So friends, as usual, I would like to request kindly subscribe, like and share. So let us discuss on the topic, what is this? What are its function and elements and how it solved the agriculture and light problems? Introductions. In the advancement of science and technology, geographical information system plays an important role in the agricultural and light sector by collecting and providing important data. This digital map can be combined with other sources of the data for the analyzing information with the geographical, rep with the geographical representations since this software can synthesize large amount of different data combining different layers of information to manage and retrieve the data in the useful manner. This provide a powerful means of information to the agricultural and allied scientists for the better service of farmer and the farming communities like mapping out crops, soil types, livestock health, and precision farming. ABB systems information technology use these applications in the agriculture for improving person method of acquiring and generating agricultural and resource data. So let us see some of the images of the this wall model. Now in the left side you can see the how the real wall looks like and how the this given information is like how the imaginary of the wall looks like and how the elevations, how the transportations, how the how to address it and how are the boundaries of the these locations and what are the pieces and what are the service centers, what are the, what are the, your data, all this combined into the this wall model. Also, I'd like to show what are the important applications of the GIS in the agriculture. In case of agriculture, the GIS helps in farm management, pests of disease tracking, crop monitoring, yield prediction, and the soil analysis. analysis. All these are easily can be data collected by with the help of GIS. Also, I would like to show what are the applications of GIS in the livestock management. GIS in livestock management, number one, livestock grazing distributions. With the help of GIS, we come to know we can taking the livestock taking and the three, the forest distribution, the four, epidemiology and the disease mapping and the fifth, division trend and the control measures. So what is the geographical information system called GIS? Geographical information system is a system designed to capture, store, manipulate, analyze, managing data and associated attributes which are especially referred to the art. The geographical information system is also called as a geographical information system or geospatial information system. It is an information system capable of integrating, storing, editing, analyzing, sharing, and displaying geographically referenced information. This is a software tool that allows users to create interactive queries, analyze the inf spatial information, edit data, maps, and present the results of all this operation. This is a tool to combine various maps and remote sensing information to generate various models which are used in real-time environment. Example, agricultural planner might use the geographical data to decide on the best location for a location-specific crop planning by combining data on soils, topography, and rainfall to determine the size and location of biologically suitable areas. The model to discuss about this now let us come come to know in case of data collection how this help in case of data collection the this help in soil mapping crop condition mapping soil condition mapping and the yield mapping in case of interpretation the this help in the data integration soil or crop models and the treatment mapping and the kind of treatment to be adopted in case of application the gyps help in how to sowing how to sowing and how to how to how to conduct the sowing and in, in case all uh, there also how to to fertilize, how much fertilizer to use and where to use. Also, how to protect, how to protect from any kinds of pests and how to protect from any kinds of disease and all these things. They just help. This the drone can be used for spraying, spraying of the insecticide, also for watering and also for the uh, also for mapping and also for the videography and also for the photography with the help of this drone that this used to take. 
this is also the image how to how to use the gist so in the control room one can sit in the control room and they can observe how are the farming methods going on what are the machineries used where, where are the animal grazing how are the forest land how are the pest control how are the insecticides going on and all these control measures how to yield and how to produce and where to use what are the water reservation all this thing can be all these systems can be analyzed by staying on the control room with the help of the gist so this is little more elaboration also with the help of the gist so we can use the art mapping and oceanography we can use the how the area is going on what are the water logging what are the wash land and what are the important things that this can be going on also the for gist we need the hardware we need the software we need it for data we need the matters we need the people to all this comprise for the gist use requirement how this function and the elements solve the agricultural problem in the early 1960s, the part this was developed by the Canadians to solve geospatial data and produce map for the Canadian land inventory. This data provided an indication of the land's capability to support agricultural, wildlife, forestry and recreational activities. Today, this is a widely used tool with significant relevance to farmers and the agricultural industry. This play an important role in the production of crops, assisting farmers in increasing production, reducing costs, and providing an effective means of managing land resources. And this has become an increasingly valuable resource. The applications, the this application come in various forms, including precision farming, drone and the satellite technologies, and the capable of the GIS themselves. Let us discuss the fine was application of the gist. Number one, the precision, the precision farming is the number one fine. Uh, in, in here, the sensors are on satellite detectors in the field are constantly collecting data. GIS and other technologies save this data into information that is accessible and interpretable by farmers and the land managers to make efficient and informed decision. The use of precision GPS by farmer and the GIS technology has cost saving and increase productivity, benefits to the community and the environment, example in fertilizing crops, machine sensors gather information about the crops and the GPS record the exact position where it is to be applied in the field. Then the technology helps the applications of fertilizers only on the areas where it is exactly needed and can vary the rate of applications to the target nutrition also at the deficient site. This saves the money on fertilizer as well as the environment from over applications. The second application of the GIS is the real-time mapping. The use of satellite and drones in the farming purpose for the availability, of the availability and the management of water for agricultural purposes. Satellite technology can detect real-time data from the earth surface to assess and monitor the conditions of the land. Soil, moisture, ocean salinity, SMOS, vegetation growth using land satellite imaginary and applying the normalized different Difference vegetation index called NDBI and can monitor the drought and the flood. The drone technology is useful in collecting more local fields data such as plant height and biomass, flora controls, flora counts, disease and the weight versions, nutrient values, elevations and the volumes of calculations. Third applications of the GIS is meeting the future demands for the food. It has been estimated that Current production of crops will double by the 2050 in order to meet the future needs for the food. For such purposes, this is not only being used for real-time analysis, but also to compare historical data, land satellite imagery can be used to assess the historical trends of the agricultural land use over time. This can help to predict and plan for the future amount of arable land needed to supply food to the future generation. Fourth application of the GIS is raising awareness. One of the most important functions of the GIS and mapping is to be used to raise awareness of such issues such as the food scarcity, an area that are in need of the assistance. This allows us to visualize, analyze and understand the vast extent geographic data that is being stored and collected on a daily basis, which is used to communicate which crops are flourishing, the extent that the pollution and the natural disaster that hinders the production and the control that the use of the fertilizers. Using this and the remote sensing information help to monitor crops, vegetation health 
at livestock farming or to evaluate rehabilitation activities and effective integrated systems of the farming. I would like to discuss some more functions of the geographical information system. Let's say number one, the input. In here, the important input data for GIS and GIS is digitalized map, images, spatial data and the tabular data. Most important components of a GIS is the form of data used in GIS. The data for using GIS can be derived from various sources for spatial and attributed data. And the number two important function is manipulations. The procedure of re-stressalization or manipulation with data are applied in all components of the geographic information. This process can be applied on the spatial component of the information that is geometry and the descriptive information is called attribute. As well as the important spatial relations among the objects or the structure elements of the object representations. And the number two important point is the management. That is database management system DBMS help to store organize and manage data of, of all small and large data project large data over this project database management system is a database software made package to manage the integrated collection of database objects and such, such as tables queries and other procedures in the database the number four important point is the query the store information either special data or associated table data can be retrieved with the help of structured query language called SQL. Depending on the type of interface, data can be queried using the SQL or a menu driving system can be used to retrieve the map data. Example, what is the dominant soil type of Portifedi? What is the groundwater availability position in the village, block or the district? Such queries utilizing more than one data layers can provide timely information and overall knowledge about situations and the taking decisions with the help of the GIS. Number five important is important for the GIS is the analysis. The forces of the geographic analysis, special analysis used to geographic properties of the pictures to look for the patterns and the trends and the undertake and to undertake what if such scenarios for such the examples are the two one one example is the overlay analysis integrations of the different layers is called overlay a special join which can integrate data on soil slope vegetation and land ownership and the number two is the proximity analysis it involves the creation of the new polygons from the phone line in the polygon features is stored in the database example how much area covered within one kilometer of the water canal what is area covered under different crop and the number six important point of the GIS is visualization. GIS provide hard copy, hard copy maps, statistical su uh, summaries, modeling solutions, and a geographic and a graphical display of the maps for spatial and developed data. However, in geographical operations and end result, the best visualize is a map or the graph. Uh, this is some of the demo of the, some pictures how the GIS help in climate, agricultural water in livestock availability and water availability and environment force and the water cycles and the water reservoirs and the land use. All this can be analyzed and recorded by in the form of data by the GIS. And uh, this is also kind of the images analysis. How the with the help of the GIS, the land use, the street, the district, the forces, the fog, the plantation, the sand and the gravel, water table, the cell, and the, uh, any kinds of the minerals and, the, and this river. How all these are discharging point, how this entry point, all this can be analyzed and recorded with the help of the GIS. Let us discuss the elements of the geographical information system. To have this, what are the requirements? First of all, we need a software. Number one, we need a software. It provides the function and tools needed to store, analyze, and display geographic information. Key software components are one, a database management system, two, a tools for the input and manipulation of the geographic information, three, tools to support geographic query, analyze and visualization, and four, a graphic a graphical user interface GUI or for EG access to the tools. Currently available commercial this software include ArcGIS, Geomedia, Geometrica, Malf, Mal Information, Malf Information, and a Gram Double Positive. And the number two main importance of the GIS is two is hardware. It is a computer on which GIS offered. GIS run on a wide range of hardware types, from centralized computer servers to the desktop computer used in Eastern Ireland or the network configurations. 
And the number three importance of the GIS, uh, components of the GIS are the data. The most important component of GIS is the data. Geographic data and related tabular data can be collected in house or purchased form from a commercial data provider. A GIS will integrate a special data and other data resources and can even use as a database management system used by the most organization to organize and maintain the data to manage a special data. And the number four applications of the GIS is uh, people or the users. Technology is of limited value without the people's participation, without the people who manage the system and develop plans for the airline into the real world problem. This user ranges from technical specialists who design and maintain the system to those who use it to help other, help them to perform and everyday works. And the number five important components and applications are the matters. Successful GIS offered according to the well-designed plan and the business rule, which are the models and offering practical and factors unique to its organization. So I have discussed about the GIS and its importance, its function, its application in its component. In today's world, the GIS, geographical information system and remote sensing are the very important tools for the modernization of livestock, modernization of agriculture and modernization of anything in any field. So we being a veterinarian, we being a agri agri scientist, we are also capable of using GIS and remote sensing in the field of agri activities.